Mrs. Coleslaw, I never knew you were a dancer. Of course. Here I am doing the cha-cha on the blunder blimp. Oh, and that's me boogie oogie oogieing with Jean Smelly. Oh, here I am with my old dance crew, the East Side Llamas. Pow, pow, meow, Mrs. Coleslaw. You can really shake a tail feather. You must mean my lucky dancing feather. I never dance without it. Okay, Mrs. Coleslaw, before we design your dancing shoes, we'll need to see your dancing moves. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> First, I slide all the way across the floor. <laughs> oh, well, you get the idea. I think I see the problem. Whenever two things rub against each other, like shoes rubbing on the floor, it causes friction. Friction slows you down. The less friction your shoes have, the more they slip and slide. So to make your new shoes slippy, we'll need a low friction material. Clark, give me something slippy. Soap suds. Too bubbly. Floor wax. Too squeaky. A banana peel. Perfect. Banana peel dancing shoes. Extra slippy, coming right up. But Chico, I also need to run all the way up the wall. <gasps> ah, in that case, you need shoes with more friction. More friction means it's harder for them to slide. So they'll be grippy. And I've got just the material. A spare tire from Tool Force One. The treads are high friction, which make them extra grippy. Perfect! Rubber tire dancing shoes, extra grippy. But then they won't be slippy. That's right, they'll be grippy. But I need shoes that are slippy and grippy. This dance is called the Slippy Grippy Shuffle. Slippy and grippy? But how can you? They're, they're, they're both flippy grippy. Better take a banana break. Okay, if the shoes are too slippy, they won't be grippy. But if they're too grippy, they won't be slippy. And then Mrs. Coleslaw won't get to dance for Flippy. <gasps> flippy! He can go from grippy to slippy with one simple flippy. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw, your shoes need to be slippy, grippy, and flippy! Yay! Um, what do you mean? <laughs> Check it out. Time for a new plan? Yep. We need to figure out some other way to get back home. Or else we could be stuck out here for a long time. Hmm. <gasps> pow, pow, meow! We need to build a vehicle! I don't like that idea, Rainbow. You love it? I love it! What were you thinking? A rocket? A land speeder? A glitter-powered dune buggy? Mm, I was thinking something a little simpler. Like a bicycle made from a tree. <laughs> a bicycle! This bike's a beaut, Rainbow. Fix it for us. Time to put these pedals to the metal. All aboard! Yep. Uh-huh. Here we go! Go, Chico, go! Don't stop now! Get pedal much longer! Wheels stuck in sand! Here, Chico! Eat a peanut for energy! Thanks, buddy! <laughs> Wheels don't work too well on this sand. We'll need to find another way to get home. Oh, but Chico, we're tired. And hot. And hungry. <laughs> and that burpy bird keeps stealing our peanuts. Ugh, and his burps smell like old peanut butter. Don't worry, team. We're not giving up yet. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Maybe we don't need wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the desert, I give you the Chico Bon Bon Wonder Wings. Yay! 
They're sleek, they're stylish, and if they work the way I think they will, we can use them to fly all the way home to Blunderburg. Rainbow, show the people how they work. With pleasure, Chico. Here she goes. Pow, pow. <laughs> She's flying, she's flying, she's... <laughs> Not flying. I was flapping as hard as I could. It's okay, Rainbow. Birds are built for flapping, but stunt kitties just aren't. Neil Ostrich here with some breaking news. Another of the Fix-It Force's plans has just failed. Luckily, just when it looks like they'll never see their home again, Chico Bon, bon is about to hatch his most brilliant plan ever. I am? Oh, what is it? Don't ask me. I'm still just a moron. And if you like this sparkly baby, you'll love this red ruby beauty. And you My eggs have been poached. Whoops. No sign of Bernie. It's time to use some tech. Clark? On it. Check with the doggy detector. He is down here. Uh, around the corner. Uh, he's in there! A doggy day spa? There you oh, are. Oh, you had us worried, Bernie. <laughs> Guess he wanted a doggy massage. <laughs> what is the matter with this leash? Maybe the leash's material is too slippery? A and that's why Bernie can wiggle out of it? Try a different material. Great idea. I have some non-slip string in here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, Bernie, let's try this. We lost him again. He took my skateboard? Now it's personal. And you'll be green with envy. <laughs> Whoa! There you are, Bernie. And there you are, skateboard. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Guess Bernie really likes music. Especially smooth jazz. Hmm, how do we redesign this leash so we can't escape? Nothing's worked so far. Don't worry, Chico. We have lots of time to figure this out. It's not like Elkin is coming back for Bernie right now. Chico Bon Bon, monkey with a dog leash. Chico, it's Elkin. I'm coming back for Bernie right now. <gasps> See you at the treehouse. This is serious, team. We're out of time, and we haven't solved how to keep Bernie on his leash. And Elkin is going to beat us back to our treehouse, and... <sighs> Good idea, Tiny. Ow. Okay. First, Bernie wiggled out because he was thirsty. Then he wiggled out to get a massage. And then he wiggled out to listen to some smooth jazz. Hmm. Maybe he wouldn't want to wiggle out of his leash if it did all the stuff he likes. The way our new couch does it. <gasps> Amazing bananas, that's it! What Bernie needs isn't a longer, less slippery leash. He needs a multifunctional leash. A leash that can do many things? Pow, pow, yow! I get it. Just like our multifunctional couch could do all the things we needed, we'll make a leash that can do all the things Bernie needs. And we'll make it as cute as you are. Exactly. Fix it, Force. Let's get to work. Activated multifunctional leash. Uh, oh, Chico, I don't see how we're ever gonna get out of here. Actually, I don't see anything at all. Clark, that's it! It is? These plungers will make a pretty sweet pair of suction cups. Stand back and watch a monkey work. <laughs> Almost there! Oh no, feathers, tickling nose! Bus, not sneeze. All right, junk hole, you win this round, but we're just getting started. Fix it, Force. We're gonna build our very own junkapult. Uh... It's a catapult made out of junk. Oh yeah, a catapult. 
catapult is a device that can launch something far distances through the air. It's Junkapult time! Ta-da! Ooh! But will the Junkapult give us enough energy to launch out of here? Only one way to find out. All right, Toaster, time to get you back to Mrs. Coleslaw. Everybody ready? Ready! Smell you later, Junk Hole. We're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! We're... Not gonna make it! Ah! Ah! Oh, peanuts. I guess we're gonna be stuck in this hole forever. Oh, there's gotta be some way out of here. Uh, we could, uh... What, what, what if we, uh... Take banana break? Yes! Ow. Okay, nothing's working. We just keep falling back onto that old springy mattress. Mrs. Coleslaw won't get her spring-loaded turbo toaster back, and we'll never play super springy pinball again. Wait a minute. Blazing bananas, that's it! Mrs. Coleslaw's toaster has super springy springs inside. They can give us the energy to pinball our way out. We'll use the sides of the junk hole like a real pinball machine. If we put ropes under those two plungers, we could use them like pinball flippers. And we can use the energy from the springs in the toaster for a launcher. But who are we gonna launch? According to my calculations, Clark, Chico, and I are all too heavy. We need someone smaller, so the energy of the spring is enough to launch them to the top! Yeah, Tiny! You can be our pinball. But you might need a little more spring in your step to bounce out of here. We're gonna make you your very own super bouncy... Spring Ball Suit! Ready to launch? Okay, Tiny. It's pinball time. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, you got a problem, we can solve them.